What's up guys, Jason here from VHS Productions, and today I am playing Polybius VR with a Vive. Now this is a really cool trippy game on Steam that has unfortunately been off limits to non-Oculus users until now, and I'm going to show you how. I have been waiting to play this game for so long. I followed the urban myth that revolved around this game, and if you've never heard of it, I suggest doing a Google search or watch some YouTube videos on it, because it's pretty fascinating. Although, this isn't the actual game of legend, I still wanted to play this knowing its history. So when it finally arrived on Steam last December, I was crushed that it was an Oculus exclusive, and there was no way to play it, even with Revive. So I started an open discussion on Steam pretty much when it launched about progress of Vive support. And yesterday, a user by the name of Jobby made a comment on that discussion that he cracked the problem and found the solution, but he couldn't get his controllers to work for some reason. So shout out to Jobby for figuring this one out. As you can see though, guys, it is running great. Everything's working the way it's supposed to, and I'm not having any controller issues on my Vive Pro. I'm not sure if this will work on Index or Windows Mixed Reality, but if anyone gets a chance to try this, let us all know in the comments. So, without further ado, let's just get into this, and I'll show you how to do this for yourself. Okay guys, so this is going to be a really simple hack to make this game work on Vive. Just follow these steps. It's going to be really simple, trust me, and this should work for you. Okay, so first thing we're going to want to do is open up our game folder in our Steam library. I have mine on this hard drive right here under Steam library, Steam apps, common, and Polybius. There it is. And we're going to keep, want to keep this folder open and put it to the side. Next, we're going to want to take some Oculus files and put them into the game to make it work with Vive. So we're going to have to open up another folder, open up another window here. And you want to take your files from your Oculus on your C drive. So we go C drive, program files, Oculus, support, and Oculus runtime. So take that folder, boom, keep put it to the side. So the files that we are looking to move over or copy and paste are these two right here, labeled L-I-B-O-V-R-R-T 32 and 64. You're gonna wanna take these two files and drag them into the game. I've got them already here, as you can see. You can either drag them or copy and paste, whatever you prefer. And that's pretty much it. That's all you needed to do to make this game work in VR. Um, so the last step, obviously, is to use Revive. This game still needs to use Revive. So uh, if you guys are familiar with Revive, you got to inject it. So I have the latest Revive running, so I don't know if that will matter. If you may need to update it or not, that, that's, uh, I'm not really sure. I didn't try with other versions. So we're going to go the regular way here. We're going to go Revive, right-click it, inject Go to our game where our folder is here, Steam Library, Steam again, and where did that game go? There it is. And you just double click it, and the game will start. That's it. That's all that you needed to do. The game will just automatically start. As you can see, it's already going. One th note that I'd like to tell you guys that the game will not display on the screen. As you can see, it's just black. Uh, a way to remedy that for... Uh, people watching you is to use display VR the steam VR display and the game will pop up there we go and that's it the game will work it's works totally 100% fine I'm using an Xbox one controller um, wireless with the dongle and I have no problem using it um, and that's it so Hopefully it works for everyone out there. Please let me know in the comments whether it worked for you. I uh, would like to know if it works for Windows Mixed Reality and Index and all that. And if it does, I will update the description on this video with it, whether it works for those other systems. And that's it, guys. So thanks for watching and uh, good luck with this. And until next time, see ya.